Hi, Tyler from Interfidelity at the Rocky Mountain Audio Fest Can Jam 2012. I'm here with Alex and Sankar from Odyssey. Hi guys, how you hey, doing? how are you? And um, they're going to tell me whatever they'd like to tell me about their gear. Sankar? <laughs> <laughs> so this is our uh, close back. Um, design. And this is a prototype, right? This, this is a, prototype. a yeah. Very it's a prototype. Prototype. very early prototype. Very early. Yes. Kind of nice. adopted the pieces that we could. Um, we do yeah. want to make a lot more changes to it. Potentially customizable woods, different types of woods. But uh, FSC certified. Yeah. yeah. We're still working on the resonance inside the chamber. Right. It's. A, I'm sure it's a tricky thing to we, with the huge diaphragm in there. Yeah. Exactly. So there's a lot of cancellation because of the. Um, you know reflection so we are working on it i think this this actually sounds pretty good right yeah now. almost yeah. so sweet almost there, but I, uh, we still need a little bit more work on it i saw one yesterday where you had done um uh slas of the yes. uh, of the arms and things like that yeah. yeah that was the first prototype yeah so and are you considering changing the the structure a little bit yeah cool and uh Shankar tells me that you guys have opened a new factory, is that right? We got a small factory in um, Fountain Valley. Yeah. Yeah. So we, moved, we moved all our uh, manufacturing, which was taking place in different uh, areas in LA. Everything consolidated it. So uh -huh. we have a small place in Fountain Valley where we make everything now. The wood alone gets made in Calabasas. Yeah. Everything else, uh, the driver, the um, etching, everything just takes place in uh, Fountain Valley, uh, Orange County now. And, and um, what do you think the biggest advantage of uh, having your manufacturing, uh, new manufacturing facility? Oh, control over quality. Yeah. Control over quality, yeah. Quality. Lovely. Much, yeah. yeah. Uh, we have end-to-end -end control over what we make now. Yeah. So, and we can inspect yeah. every single step. Uh, what is this? I, I think uh, it's so spectacular to see you guys growing this thing from a little... Uh, you know, an idea and, and a little prototype, you know, three years ago, and now you're, you're serious. Serious. <laughs> we're trying to be serious. We're trying to do the best that we can. Huh? All right. That's all that we're yeah. trying to do. And it has been a fun ride for a lot of years, so. And, and they've also made, had some fun. Uh, check this out. Go ahead and uh, hold that up for me, if you would. Uh, this is uh, some. Tell me about it. So, a longtime friend of mine named Ugly Bill, also known as Peacemaker, also known as Special Technique now, uh, creates very, very steampunkish rotary tattoo guns. Oh, really? Uh, one of the first people to start making rotary guns. Uh, he's an amazing tattoo artist, and one night I was thinking, shit, we should probably steampunk the LCD-3. Yeah. Actually, Shankar also wanted to do it, so... It, that is I came to mind and I said, you want to do this? And he said, I'd love to do it. So hopefully we're going to see some even more cool. Yeah, I mean, he can really take this to another level. Wow, that is really spectacular. Have enough time. Uh, you need a battery, so steam comes out once yeah. in a while. And really? <laughs> Maybe a monocle. <laughs> that would be excellent. Yeah. yeah so it's, it's just, just it's fun. A function, it's a functional art piece. That's what we call Yeah. yeah. It's kind of functional. And uh, also... Um, Kavi Alexander, who's a friend of mine that I've known for years and years and years, uh, has a, uh, a music publishing uh, company. He does these incredible recordings, Water Lily recordings. Water Lily Acoustics. Water Lily Acoustics. Um, uh, he, he calls me about once a year and talks about headphones. And uh, tell us about this one. So, uh, so this, he has like four or five pairs of Jekyll floats, and he's fanatic about them. He has probably an insane amount of collection of vinyl. And uh, this particular old uh, float from 70s, I believe, had drivers that were not working, and we could, he could not get them repaired. So some, it was retrofitted with an LCD3 driver. It actually sounds incredible. Yeah. Huh. Um, it's Kavi Alexander's piece. Uh, we just borrowed it for the show so that we can just show these uh, custom mods. So, just fun stuff. Uh, just fun stuff. Yeah. People, you know, do it yourself. Uh, you know, but it, this actually works, and you can actually listen to it. It sounds yeah. good. Yeah, and actually you can um, oh, get the yeah. You can see the LCD yeah. driver yeah, in there. You can see the LCD three driver. Yeah, I'm I'm getting the so reflectors. Yeah. It's an LCD driver <laughs> and All right, guys. Well, it's been good to see you here again. Great to see you again. Great to see you again. And we'll see you guys at the next booth.